Hey everybody, Cutco Mike here. I've been kind of always asked what makes my show so big and so crazy and so good and how do you drive people to the booth and how do you get so much past customer business? So I'm gonna share with you kind of my thoughts, my ideas, my how-tos, my what you should be doing, uh, ways of creating more growth from your database and your platform. So number one, my belief is this, it takes two to three to four to five to 20 times the amount of energy, money, and effort to get a new customer than it is to nurture and harvest and build that relationship with the past customer. Because you've already done the work, right? You've already done the legwork. You've already invested into the show or the cost or the marketing to get that customer. So I'm gonna encourage you to look at your database as your golden nugget, your best resource for growing quantum leap, doubling, tripling, quadrupling, or even just half growthing your results at a show. So number one is look at your database as that kind of that baby, right? That that nurtured thing that could be beautifully blossomed into something so more magical, right? Uh, than you've ever planned, right? So the number one thing you got to do is you got to believe in your database, right? You got to Look at your database as a layer, as a opportunity to enhance your business, grow your business with just a few little things, right? So if you don't love your database and you're not going out there trying to build your database and add customers to your database, you're missing out. I mean, that to me is how I've grown my business from 10 years ago selling 220K to 300, to 400, to 500, to 600, to 700, to 800 to COVID, to 650, to a million and some change. And I'm not, I'm not trying to boost my own ego. I'm trying to encourage all of you what could be, what, what is possible in 10 years, right? What is possible in five years? What is possible in one year? What is possible this year when you really kind of go all in on working your database, working your customer platform, your brand, and, uh, and really just focusing on it. So if you're not out there trying to get every customer you can, and I know average order is a big topic. I go back and forth with a lot of other top reps and CSPs. Average order is great. It's probably my kryptonite, right? But I will, I will destroy everybody with database and customer orders because I know if I get them on my database, they're coming back. They're coming back or they're gonna see some form of marketing. So number one is get excited about building your database. Number two is the send off and the experience, right? When you send them off and you let them know, hey, I will be your guy or girl forever. I will see you at this next event. Come see me at this big fair. Come see me at the mall. Come see me next year. And then sending them a thank you card. I mean, we spend thousands and thousands of dollars on handwritten thank you cards. I did it for years. Now I have somebody help, Rachel's mom. But literally, as soon as that order goes into the app and hits process, there's a thank you card being written in 24 hours, being sent out right away, handwritten saying, hey, thank you for your investment, thank you for your trust, thank you for your loyalty, happy cutting, happy cooking, and then there's a generic Band-Aid from Walmart in there with a business card and a referral card. So that's my number two thing, is invest into a thank you card, an experience, a Band-Aid, a business card, and a referral card, which will get you remembered in 24 to 72 hours from the sale, right? Imagine that, they open up an envelope, handwritten from you, your team, saying thank you for buying from me. So that's, that's the second thing, right? They're already remembering you. And then at the booth, when you send them off, hey, do you have Facebook, do you have Instagram, do you have LinkedIn, do you have YouTube? Get on, follow me, add me, tag me, like me. Uh, let's keep in touch because to me, social is a way better communication platform than uh, email or text. Those are great, those are essential, but you gotta get them on your social platform. And if you haven't started, start today because tomorrow will be another day behind. So uh, my biggest platforms I use is Instagram, sharing my stories and posts, and then they transfer over to Facebook. And then I use my group, my private group, and my business page and my personal page kind of all in one to really harvest that remembrance and that network and that kind of that brand, right? 
So as you're at the booth, right, you, you get the sale. Hey, do you have Facebook? Do you have Instagram? Hey, get on your phone real quick. And this is all as you're processing the order. Hey, like me, add me, subscribe. And now what you're going to realize is those people are going to see you again. They're going to run into you at the next show, next year, Christmas, so on and so forth. And uh, it's kind of free, right? You do it once and now you have them forever, right? So obviously follow all the guidelines, follow all the social uh, media rules. But um, I mean, I've been doing this for 10 years. I mean, imagine what's going to happen in your business one year from now, two years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now when you get that going, right? Uh, so number three would be um, the Cutco email, right? Sending them the email saying, thank you for your order. And then there's a link in there to add you on their so on your social platform. Again, it's that reminder, that touch point. So you got the interaction, you got the send off, you got the thank you card, you got the business card, the referral card. Now you have the email from Cutco and then you got them, you know, constantly seeing your name, right? And then I usually send two or three emails a month. Usually there's some form of sale or promotion tying into a holiday or an event, or it's a value email that you can create or use a service like Vast Action or our rep portal, right? All our great resources. And then obviously you have your occasional text messages. Those I wanna use wisely and conservatively. I don't bombard people with texts because I don't want them to get pissed off. But an occasional text when there's a big sale, a price increase, a big event. And if you're doing a bunch of service events or a big fair, those are great times to say, hey, here's my schedule or here's my big event or here's my sharpening event schedule or here's my spring schedule, my summer schedule or my fall schedule or my mall schedule. So use those wisely. Don't overdo the text. Use them as needed, right? So now to kind of fast forward here. You kind of have an overview. So let's say you're going into your mall or your big state fair or your big county fair or your big sharpening event season, or you're just going into a push week. I would say this, go all out, all in. Uh, Even if you make $1 more than you would have, it's still profit, but now you're gonna get that top of mind awareness so you're gonna get them remembering you for years and years to come, right? So let's, let's just use the example of I'm going into a state fair. So right now, a month or two out, I'm already creating my postcard because I'm going to send everybody in that state or everybody who's ever ordered from me at that fair. So if you've worked the fair for years, everybody who's worked that fair or bought from you at that fair, they're going to get the marketing. And then if you have the funds, I encourage you to go all out, send it to everybody in that state or maybe everybody in a 100 mile radius or a 50 mile radius. And then obviously create a postcard that's approved by Cutco Vector and whoever you use your services from. Um, that's basically a call to action. Here's your coupon. Come see me at the fair. Here's my hours. Here's my location. Here's my booth. And then on the back, it's either got your coupon, which I always do percentages off because you want people to see a deal and come redeem that deal. And then on the bottom, it says, turn this in to win a $100 chance at a Cutco raffle. Turn this in to win a $250. You know, go big or go home. Don't be cheap. Don't don't be stingy. Don't give away a peeler. Go all out and have some form of call to action. Hey, redeem this at my booth, but also drop this in to get your um, chance of winning, right? So that's number one is get the postcard, hard mail to everybody you can send it to. I mean, last year alone, I probably spent ten to $15,000 on just postcard mailing. Well, obviously I sold a million bucks, so it paid off. And I'm not saying you're going to sell a million bucks right away, but you do these things over and over and over again. You're going to be a half a million dollar rep, a 750 rep, a million dollar rep uh, in no time. The second thing I do for the people that have bought from me at that show, so now your list will be smaller, right? So that the postcard is the biggest net. That's to the the query search of a mile radius, a state, or um, you know everybody on your list. And then the hard handwritten letter is everybody that's bought from you. So this is going to be a smaller list if you've worked the event only a few years, or if this is your first time doing it, you might not do the letters, um, but. It's a letter about you, your family, your hobbies, your goals. Uh, It's a couple pictures. It's your years in Cutco. It's just kind of a highlight reel printed. And I go color. You don't have to go color, but color brings it to life. And then on the back side, there's 
another list of coupons. Here's my deals, just kind of the same deals of the postcard, but then a couple little, hey, bring in this coupon, show me a picture of all your knives laid out, and you try out five new knives, get a price quote, you get a free secret knife, which is a sample knife, or a free peeler, or a free cutting board, or a free whatever, uh, but that's another way to get them in to see you. So now they have a postcard that hits them, and I usually try to have those arrive about two weeks before the event, or 10 days, and then I put the letter, which I used to handwrite, hire somebody to handwrite it, so it's a front and back, and then I'll even add a inventory brochure if you have the funds and, and the uh, money to create that, or you can order some stuff from literature, like the cookware literature sheet, or even like there's a um, a, um, a signature in an ultimate trifold or a sheet that you can fold and put in there and basically get them thinking about there's more to cut go, right? Um, and then put that in a, a letter envelope. Obviously, you're going to spend money on stamps and handwriting and hiring. Big expense, but always turns out to really pop. So I just I always look forward to the day when people just bring their letter, their postcard, and uh, and they just come see me. And it's like they're they're ready to buy or they're open minded to see more, right? Uh, so you're you're priming them, you're buttering them up to buy more Cutco. Um, and sometimes people have their orders ready, right? You know they're ready to rock and roll. Um, so that's number two when it comes to marketing. Uh, the number three would be sending an email about two weeks out promoting the event. Hey, here's the event, my location, the hours, the uh, information, the deals, obviously whatever you're going to be offering as far as deals. And then I usually do a text message about two to five days before, basically promoting, here's my schedule, here's my hours, uh, come see me, here's my booth location. And then if you can, attach an image of the coupon or the postcard so they can have that on their phone. And then I send another email the day of or the night before saying, hey, reminder, here's where I'm at. And then if it's a longer event or a few days um, long, so like if it's a four or five day event, I'll do like a, an email the last day or the last night before the last day saying, hey, final chance to say, final chance to come see me. Um, or if it's like a fair where it's two weeks or 10 days, I usually send that like the last weekend. Hey, last weekend, last three days. So you're giving them one more last chance. Um, so those are my kind of hard marketing tips, hard uh, branding you should always do. And then uh, using your social platform. You know, I'm always posting, hey, what are your favorite things at the fair? Doing a poll, what do you like most about this? And, uh, and then I like the Kodak moments, right? Every day, if it's a big fair for me, it's my daily recap. And I'm doing pictures with my customers, tagging them, and showing proof, right? Social proof of people buying, shopping, ordering, having fun with me, uh, being tagged. So now their social platform seeing it. Um, and obviously people get... Um, you know, to, to be the highlight, right? They're the the experience of the fair, right? So posting those every day and uh, and then doing a recap at the end, just uh, rewarding and highlighting everybody who bought from you, who shopped from you. And then the week or two after doing your giveaway on your platform, your private group or your fa Facebook page or your personal page hey, or your YouTube page, hey, here's... Here's your big giveaway for everybody who turned in their coupon or turned in their raffle ticket. So that's really how you go all out um, when it comes to marketing, guys. It's really simple when you think about it. It's just the experience when you meet them, getting them tied into you right away, and then doing those things, the emails, the texts, the hard postcards, the letters, and then the social updates uh, over and over again. So look at it like this. Money spent on your database is always going to equal more. It's always going to equal top of mind. It's always going to grow your brand, your loyalty, your followings. Get nice business cards made. Get nice letters made. Get nice uh, postcards made. And do it all the right way. Best in class. When you do it best in class, you're always going to sell best in class. So hopefully this helps. Hopefully this encourages you to build a bigger brand, right? Build a bigger following, build loyalty through marketing and advertising and branding 
and uh, and just saying, hey, I'm your guy or girl for life. So, guys, have fun. Show up. Show up with a smile, and uh, don't be afraid to put it on your credit card because you put on your credit card, you do the event, you're going to pop. And when you pop, pay off your credit card and then put a bunch into savings. Take care. God bless, and have a nice event. Thanks for watching.